What's up, everyone? This is Ella Stroyer, 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Last time, we made it to the 201st floor of Tartarus. We've reached our destination for this Tartarus exploration, and in the process, Yukari and I just got tired and. They kind of went back to the dorm. In this episode, we are going to start things off as we usually do when we reach our destination with Persona Fusions. We have a lot of money at our disposal, so we can actually make quite a few more Personas. So, you guys know the drill by now. I'll meet you guys when I can find a pretty good combination. This will work. <laughs> so we're fusing away Lakshmi and Cert in order to fuse Hellbiker. I don't think he's going to be as powerful as Cert, simply in terms of magic. But he should still be a very good persona. Plus, I mean, having Ragnarok, I mean, just to pass that down to other personas, that would be really nice. Fire Amp. Ooh, Vicious Strike. And Endure. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what Endure does. I think that just gives me a chance. No, restores 1 HP upon death. Okay, so that is guaranteed. Okay, so once per battle, I am guaranteed to survive one mortal blow. Okay, that is something I'm definitely gonna want, and I'm gonna get rid of Maragion for that. Ooh, Absorb Fire. That actually won't be bad. I mean, he repels fire, but still, absorbing can be better. Sure, why not? So we are fusing away Kikurihime and the Hell Biker in order to fuse Siegfried. Our most recent max social link. I can't really say max level. That would be kind of weird. But max social link persona. Alright, so, what other skills is Siegfried going to learn? Or change? To Vicious Strike- Ah! That's one of the few skills I really wanted him to have. No, I don't want to get rid of Vicious Strike. Get rid of Fire Amp! That, that skill's completely useless on him. Okay, well it gets Vorpal Blade. That is a really good skill. Heavy Slash, and with a great bonus, too. That's going to be really nice. All right, getting rid of Fire Amp, and Arms Master. Hmm. I'm not sure what Arms Master entirely does. It's similar to, like, like Fist Master or something like that. I think it has something to do with my weapon strength and what type of weapon I use. Not sure which kind of weapon, though. Oh, well. With growth 2, I think this could actually work. So we are fusing away Byako and Throne in order to fuse Sharon Bog. Really haven't gotten that far in the moon, Arcana. But hey, with growth... Sharonbog will still gain some additional experience, and good thing too. Because he also has an item. Alright, so no matter what sort of- that is creepy. So no matter what battle we get into, Sharonbog will still gain some experience. It's gonna be a long journey, but at least he'll- be able to get the item sooner or later. 
This will work quite well. <laughs> so we are fusing away Sharonbog and Byako in order to fuse Hariti. It's going to be nice to finally have a persona with Samira Kar. Unfortunately, she's still a very long way from getting that spell. But hey, that's why I passed down growth too. Since I still don't have the Empress Arcana established. Alright, this seems like a good combination. So we are fusing away Titania, Thor, and Kali in order to fuse Horus. Hey, if I can pass down as many personas as I can with Mind Charge, I probably will. Alright, and also having Auto Masuki Kanja, that's going to be very nice. Well, I wonder what other skills Horus can get. Ooh, Bukudai! He already has Zeodyne, so getting Bufudine will be very nice. In fact, he'll be about as good as... Hariti. Ha! Huh. Didn't quite think that through now, did I? As a starting persona, that's probably the best I've got. So we're fusing away Kubahandra and Lakshmi in order to fuse Raphael. Having two auto ma skills, that's going to be incredibly useful. So, at least having those, we should be able to be a lot better suited in our endeavors through Tartarus, especially the bosses. And having Medirahan is also very nice. Ooh, and Mataru Kaja. Sweet! So he has the auto skills, and then I can just start off with a Mataru Kaja, and that works out quite nicely, actually. <laughs> okay, so I guess Raphael, a very good opening persona. I'll take it. This will definitely do. So, we are fusing away Titania, Alice, and Melchizedek in order to fuse Bishamonten. A very powerful persona with fire and apparently dark capabilities. All right, let's see what other skills he gets as well. We'll learn Fire Amp, which, man, I have so many powerful fire personas. Although I am lacking in other elements. Wind, for example. Oh, well, whatever. He seems to be very high on Pierce attacks too, with Arrow Rain and Myrid Arrows. Resist Ice, no. I get rid of Augie, but not resist ice. So yeah, medium pierce damage to all foes is a multi-hit. Medium pierce damage to all foes automatically is a two-hit. So Myrid Arrows is more risk reward than arrow rain, but they're still both pretty good pierce moves. Oh, and he also has Arms Master. Huh. Okay. You know, if I can get more wind personas, I'll take it. Because that's something I'm really lacking right now. So we are fusing away Alice and Cherenbog in order to fuse Ganensha. I 
actually wasn't planning on making this persona, but there's something else that I want to do. And I needed space. All right, so increases. Gets an increase in his stats a little bit. Not gonna learn Magadu Dine. Ooh, Deathbound. Um. Nah. Having growth too will definitely help though. Having a lot of personas with growth. That's actually not a bad skill in the past down. Not gonna lie. It does get kind of stupid when I have to buy them back though, but hey. At the very least, it helps when actually leveling them up. Now the reason why I went and oh, I should probably take Kromara out of my party. The reason why I uh, got, well, I made Ganensha, like I said, was primarily because I needed space. We now have the capability of finally continuing our fusion spell requests. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. I'm going to get immediately tired, which is why I went on over to the first floor here. Honestly, this is a pretty good way to just test out different spells and whatnot. So we are first going to want to head on over to Siegfried. And with Ares and Siegfried, we can now use Scarlet Havoc. Which deals heavy slash damage to all foes. These shadows are panicking and with very good reason. <laughs> and now I'm tired. Are you getting tired? Ah, oh, worth it. Totally worth it. Go ahead and take the wand, even though it's completely unnecessary. And I'll grab the treasure chest. Why not? Hey, about a thousand yen. Okay. So at the very least, now that. Now that uh, Fuka has reached a sufficient level, this is very good to just practice out these sorts of skills in case there's like a certain setup you want to test out or test out these fusion spells. The second floor of Tartarus is a very good place to do that, especially once Fuka can get you out of Tartarus instantly. So because of that, that is what I'm going to do for the rest of these fusion spells <laughs> quests. Assuming we get it at the end of- holy crap. That's a lot of personas with growth. Especially if it's at like an end of a Tartarus exploration. So, let's go ahead and accept the request for Scarlet Havoc. Because we already did it. You know, I wouldn't be surprised considering how low-level shadows they were. And for that, we get the summer outfit for Mitsuru. Although, if what we've seen from the other requests is any indication... I think we already have something that outclasses it. <laughs> well, anyway, our next fusion spell is Valhalla. We need Valkyrie and her master. Oh, what is... Can we do that one? I don't believe we can do Valhalla. I'm trying to think. I don't think we can. I think there's one, the per other persona that we need is not one that we currently have available to us. So, yeah, that unfortunately is going to be it for the fusion spells. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Ares, get back either Cherenbog or Alice. And I will meet you guys outside the Velvet Room. Actually, is it as it turns out, we can actually do this spell. I had to think back on my limited knowledge of Norse mythology. And I actually remember who it is that we needed. And we have that persona with us. So I went ahead and got Valkyrie, and now we can actually do this spell. First things first, we need to find a shadow. Gotcha! Okay, so first thing we're gonna wanna switch to Odin. And with Odin and Valkyrie, we can use Valhalla. So Valhalla. Oh god, this spell. Oh goodness, why, why did I do this alone? Okay, this makes us in- this makes one ally invulnerable for one turn. But in exchange, the next turn? My HP goes down to one. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to try to get rid of these guys. Okay, well that works. Let's see, I'll go ahead and attack that one. Then, I sincerely, sincerely hope this doesn't completely backfire and end up killing me. Well, let's go ahead and use Valhalla! Yeah, not only that, but it also brings our SP down to one. Great. I need to be very careful about this. This was exactly what I was fearing. Okay. I mean, I could just use a recovery item. Oh, heck, you know what? I'll just do that. Medical Powder restores me by 100 HP. And it's a freaking Maya. One of the lowest level enemies. Okay, I've never heard Fuka say that before. The Kiss of Life? Don't overdo it. I guess it's just like, oh man, you lucked out big time, Minato. You are so lucky that the enemy missed when you're almost dead. That's what I'm guessing is why she said that. Well, at the very least, we did it. Definitely not a good spell to, to use when you're by yourself. Goes without saying. But as a bit of a last resort type of thing, you know that could be helpful. Hey, Elizabeth! I've casted another spell! I'm also gonna need to f register my personas again. But we've already fu- or fuse. We've already performed Valhalla. Invulnerability is nice, though the spell itself doesn't make you immortal. And for that, we get the winter outfit for our character. Okay, so let's go ahead and register all my personas. And what's the next fusion spell? Shadow Hound. Okay, we need Kukulain with his instructor. I know full well what persona we need for this, and unfortunately, we're one level shy from that. So, 
I'm pretty sure Yukari would love for us to be able to do that spell. But unfortunately, we can't perform that yet. Although I would like to check that winter outfit. Heck, maybe Yukari doesn't need to wait that long to get out of that maid outfit. Let's see. Do, do, do. Summer outfit, winter outfit. No, not as good as the Kukai's vestment. But definitely better than the summer outfits, and I think it's better than the maid outfits. Maid outfits, I think, had a defense of 90? Okay, so not anything that's useful for us now, but, you know, it's still interesting to have. Alright, well, I don't need Valkyrie anymore. Now I need to buy back a Persona. Again. Actually, before we end things off in the dark hour, I want to go and accept a different request. Let's see, this one. I said I would accept this request once we were done with our Tartarus exploration, and I almost forgot about it. <laughs> but we will want to accept this request now. Because we can very easily do that. Okay, nothing else we can do at the moment. Those are all the requests that we can potentially do for the time being. So with all of that taken care of, all the fusion spells done up to this point that we can potentially do, we can go ahead and end the dark hour. And thus we can move on with our school life. And onwards to Tuesday. Yay. Oh, hey, Yukari. Good morning. Oh, well, that's good to hear. You have any idea how she's doing? Yeah, I don't think anyone can blame her. But it is nice that she's recovering a little bit, I guess. Well, at any rate, it is now lunchtime, which means revolving door of social links. Go! Who wants to hang out with me today? Hey, baby. Today? Um... I'm actually not sure, baby. Hmm. Well, maybe we could help out, baby. And he's the only one in the revolving door. Okay. Well, it's after school now. But before we get going with what we're going to be doing for social links. We have a quest to take care of. And that involves heading on into town and going to... Port Island Station. It does seem weird that Port Island Station is only really used in quests. But whatever. Or we need to go... Let's see. I believe we need to head on over this way. Because there's a girl here, or a woman. No, that's not the right one. There's someone suffering from apathy syndrome that we need to help out. Oh! Well, here, I almost missed you. Is yellow mist? Um, sure. Jeez! Yeah, I've actually seen some with your face on it, actually. I've never felt like 
Yeah, of course. Oh god. God dang it, game. So yes, that is why we needed the 20 Cielo Mist. We need to give all 20 to that girl. Yeah, kind of insane. Especially since, I mean, how could you down 20 cans of soda? But whatever, that's neither here nor there. Now that we've got that taken care of, we're heading back on over to GeckoCon. Because today, we are going to be spending our time with Keisuke. Hey, Keisuke. Oh, well, yeah, I was planning on... I was planning on going to music club. Alright, sure. Timpani. I really want to play that timpani. Hmm? Yeah, for sure. Oh, case gay. Um, is, can't that be considered theft? Uh, case gay. I don't know what you're planning, but this sounds like a really, really bad idea. Why do I keep getting myself in these situations? Alright. I hope you find your answer, Keisuke. Do you have any idea what's wrong with her? Right, I'm on it. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you around, KSK. Oh, seriously? Look, I'll handle this, okay? You... you need to get going.
got it. Hurry back, okay? Okay, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? He seems to have a pain in his chest. Let's see. Maybe he's choking it on something? Oh, no. Okay. Um, I shouldn't try to move him. Uh, let's rub his hands and feet. Uh, that didn't work. Crap, he's having a heart attack? Yeah, just tell me what to do. Welcome, Keisuke, but I think that was mostly your doing. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we were here then. Hi, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou chooses to create a persona of the fortune arcana. It does seem really bizarre that there were two medical emergencies that happened one after another in the exact same place. Kind of strange. Also, I should probably make a note of this now. After the first option, it didn't matter what you picked for any of the other responses. I just wanted to make a note of that. Wait, seriously? That would probably be a start. Alright, later, Case Gang. Greetings. Hey, I guess. About her, I guess. Don't blame yourself, I guess. It, it wasn't your fault. Alright, well, Mitsuru's back at the dorm, although she's certainly not in the mood to head on over to Tartarus, and to be quite honest, neither are we. So for this evening, there's not really much for us to do, although... Hmm... Some different Persona Fusions and quests that we did... And considering how long that rank up was... Um... You know, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day here. Maybe a little bit earlier than usual, but... You know... Sometimes, 
doesn't hurt to just do a little bit, just do a little bit at a time, I guess. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 3 FES. We still have, well, quite a lot that we need to accomplish. There's still plenty of work to do in our social links and plenty of work to do in Tartarus. So we're still going to be rather busy for a while. However, even though Mitsuru's here, she probably won't be coming back to Tartarus again anytime soon. So I think it's just safe to assume that we're just gonna need to keep training on without her, at least for now. Hopefully she'll be in, I don't know, better spirits? I can't exactly say higher spirits because Honestly, I don't think anyone could really be that considered high spirits that soon after what's happened. But at any rate, I do hope Mitsuru feels better soon. So until next time, everyone, take care. <laughs>